this problem, we have a moon orbiting the planet Megatron, and it's at a distance of 4.5 times 10 to the 8 meters away. What we want to find is the distance where the forces are equivalent. The force from the moon is the same as the force from the planet Megatron. So if you were in the middle there, you would feel no pull either way, because the forces equally cancel out. So force from Megatron equals the force of the moon. What they tell us is that the mass of the planet, Megatron, is 102 times the mass of the moon. So the mass of Megatron is 102 times the mass of the moon. So that's our first piece of information. The next piece is just about the radius, the distance away. And we're looking for this distance. And so what we know is the forces are equal. Force Megatron equals force Moon. Since the forces there are equal, you can just say that they're equal. So force, gravitational force is G, M1, M2 over R squared. Now, in the case of the planet Megatron, the M1 would be the mass of Megatron, so we'll call it mass of Megatron. M2 would be the mass of the person, so we'll just call it, keep it as M2. And R squared is going to be this radius here. Now, if we call this distance from here to the person X, right, because that's the distance we're looking for. What is the distance away from the planet Megatron that you'd have to be? We'll call that X. So that distance R squared is X. So this is going to be x squared equals g, in this case we have the mass of the moon, m2, in this case is still m2 because it's the person, and the radius this time, it isn't this whole distance because we're looking at the distance between the moon and the person. So the distance between the moon and the person is going to be this minus this. So it's 4.5 times 10 to the 8 minus x. Squared. Okay, so now we do some algebra. We can divide this out, the g, we can divide m2 out. And so we can say we're looking for r. So we can say that, move r to this side. Or, sorry, x to this side and mass of the moon to this side. So we have mm, mass of Megatron, divide mass of the moon over here, and I've multiplied x squared up here, and I've multiplied, or this is still on this side, 4.5 times 10 to the 8, and that's x, all squared. Now, I don't want to square these out because then I'm just left with x's I can't solve for. So what I do is I'm going to take the square root of both sides. I'm left with root mass of Megatron divided by... Now here's the big thing. We can't do anything with this because we don't know the mass of the moon. But we know the ratio. And... So what, all we have to do, actually it would probably be easier if we plug in for the mass of Megatron. The mass of Megatron is 102 mass of the moon. So instead of the mass of Megatron, we put 102 mass of the moon. 102 mass of moon. On the bottom is just mass of moon. And so those are going to cancel out. Equals, now I take the square root sum of x over 4.5 times 10. 8 minus x, and over here I have root 102 equals x over 4.5 times 10 to the 8 minus x. So algebra, I multiply this over, I get root 102 times 4.5 times 10 to the 8 minus x equals x. So I multiply root 102 through. We're going to put it over here. We've got root 102 4.5 times 10 to the 8 minus 
Actually, I'm going to multiply this times the x, and I'm going to add it to the other side all in one step. So I have root 102x plus x. So the root of 102 times negative x gives me negative root 102x. I add it to the other side, give me x plus root 102x. So I have root 102 times 1.5 times 10 to the 8. Now you multiply that, that'll just give you some number equals x root 102 plus 1. Factoring the x out of there. Now I divide this. Both sides. And these are all just numbers, so now I just plug this in my calculator. This times this divided by 1 plus root 102. This is like 11 because it's just greater than 10. Which gives me an x equal to 4.09 times 10 meters.